Hey. Welcome. Yes, it's 10 right now. Hi to those who have, are attending. The news is today instead of Beat the Furby. I missed the news one on Tuesday. What is sad? Books, maps, block this person. Thank you. Uh, please always be respectful in my live streams. Hi, Tanya. How are you doing? Let's see here. The other people. Clemit Clemitos. Uh, Eddie. Nice to see everyone. What are you asking here, Eddie? Yeah, Amazon Silk uh, is their browser. Anyway, so I was going to start with... There's a list of my cat you don't see very often. I was going to start with the news about um, Atari is going to be coming out with a game this summer. It's a virtual reality game. Hi, Emmanuel. How are you doing? Hi, Japan. And it's called Pixel Ripped 1978. It's going to be a VR game that's going to be on the PlayStation. Uh, also, the Quest 2, um, I think Steam Deck or something. Um, I'm going to play just a little bit of the trailer, just a little bit, because it it's actually looks very exciting. And then I'm going to explain what the, sh what, what the uh, video game is going to be about. My name is Barbara, but you can call me Bug. I just started a new job so, yeah. at this place called Atari. So this will be in a VR game. They've been working on this cool new thing called video games. Feels like it's really going to catch on. Electronic games being this year's best seller. Okay, so I'm going to stop it because I don't want to get a... It's fair use here. Calling your cat. Alista. Hi, are you? Hi, Alista. Anyway, so it's going to be a VR game where you are working at Atari as like a tester and developer fixing bugs. It's more like quality assurance, which is a job I actually have. Not at a video game company, but a software company. And uh, this, yeah, Astro's doing Amazon Silk as a browser. Anyway, so uh, this VR game, this virtual reality game, you're going to be working at Atari in 78 and actually going into the games that they had then. And you're going to actually go, I think, back in time and maybe forward in time um, along the timeline for Atari. Now, my, I was born in 73. I turned 50 in, on March 28th, Tuesday next week. And I lived during this time period. I had an Atari 2600. Um, I can't remember what year it was. I don't think it was 78. It was maybe 80. And, uh, the, there were a lot of cool games then. Like, I also had later video game players. I had Nintendo, you know, the N64. I had the Sega Genesis. I actually had a Turbo Graphics with the CD player that had um, uh, Ease Book 1 and 2, which is one of the best video games ever made as a role playing game. Before role playing games were very popular, actually. So, and then I got to play Zelda, you know, later years, Zelda. Sega Genesis was a great system. But yeah, this is an exciting game. Uh, so I wanted to share it. I don't usually talk about video games that often, but, but this one has me very interested. And I do have a quest too. I'm definitely going to be getting this game when it's released. I wish I had a, a PlayStation, but in order to have the PlayStation VR, uh, VR2, uh, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Legend of Zelda is great. Oh my goodness, that's such a good game. Anyway, so um, in order to play the PlayStation uh, virtual reality, uh, the second one that just came out, you actually have to have a PlayStation 5 as well. And so I have a Quest 2 because it's actually way lower cost than the PlayStation because I can't afford to get like a PlayStation 5 and a VR 2. Well, see you tomorrow, Tanya. Thanks for being here. So another thing I was going to show um, for news is uh, I'm going to talk about, uh, first I'm going to show this, and then I'm going to talk about uh, what, what might be coming up uh, for some robots.
Hope the volume's on. Doesn't seem like the volume's on. Okay, hey, there we go. Wait a second, let's start it again. Connect to chat GPT. Yes, what that's email. What is a cat? That's the chat GPT symbol, by the way. Cat is a small carnivorous mammal with soft fur, a short snout, and retractable claws. They are often cats as pets. Where can I buy a cat? You can buy a cat at a local animal shelter, pet store, or from a reputable breeder. Okay, so I was going to open uh, GPT-4 and talk about it too, but I can't seem to get my login to work for some reason. Um, but anyway, so there's a few, and this is Moxie over here. I, I, I had her on my TikTok. TikTok at 9 p.m. I have uh, either Moxie or Kebby, and you see those the next day. Uh, anyway, so uh, Emo, yeah, Google Assistant I don't think can do chat GPT because they sold it to Microsoft. So you can only do Edge for ChatGPT. I had a prior news one that talked about it. Um, Google does have Bard, and I could talk about that in a minute. But so there's a few robots that have been talking about getting ChatGPT. Um, one robot is maybe Emo will get it. That was just testing. There's no guarantee that Emo will be getting ChatGPT. They have been testing it though. Um, but, well, Alexa actually has something else that uses an older version of GPT. And then there, you could also can do it on YouTube uh, where you've got to set it up yourself. Oh, sorry to hear that. Your battery's that low. Anyway, so uh, Emo might get it. Luna, um, which I need to start having Luna in more episodes. Uh, I've been waiting for her auto-charging dock because I, it's hard for me to keep remembering I've got a lot of robots I've got to charge, and she moves around, so it's just really a lot more difficult, but I do need to start putting her in some of these live streams, but I really want her to be autonomous like Astro to where she just self-docks. So Luna might be getting, I don't know, think she already has it. I think they just demonstrated it. I don't think she actually has chat GPT yet. Um, Emo might get it. They're testing it. I don't know if he's going to get it. Um, Astro with Alexa and, uh, this, there, there is something right now that has it already, but there's actually several how to's on YouTube regarding adding chat GPT to Alexa, where you can use their, their dev platform to do it. Um, and then Ebo, Ebo X, which is on Kickstarter and actually, uh, let me, let me show, I, I've showed Ebo X before though. I got to try to go out of this main menu. Uh, let's see here. Show URL bar. We'll go to Ebo. But they've been showing where they're saying that Ebo is going to have, Ebo X is going to have, um, I don't know why it's showing it there. It should be on Kickstarter. But they've been talking about it having chat GPT, just like part of it. So if that actually happens, and yeah, it's not showing it here, but EboX, uh, if you sign up to their newsletter, they've got like a newsletter, um, you can, you know, Enabot, E-N-A-B-O-T, Enabot has EboX. EboX is kind of pricey. I'm going to say that right here and now. It is kind of pricey. Um, but if it has chat GPT, that'll be worth it. It's going to have Alexa on board for EboX. And if it does like auto dock and it's autonomous, but like is smaller, uh, similar to how Luna is, but it actually has chat GBT, then, you know, that's going to be a, a good selling point. And then GPT-4, yeah, it is expensive. Uh, well, this is the full goal, but like if you look at the pricing, it's uh, like 569 for the super early bird. I think it says 69 the text is a little small, but I think that's what it's saying. Anyway, so uh, GPT-4, though, is out now. And I actually have, I sign up for the monthly OpenAI uh, 
chat GPT, $20 a month. And so you get 25 queries every three hours for GPT-4, which is even, even higher level than GPT-3, 3.5. But they limit it to 25 every three hours. So I do have that. Um, there was also some other news items I was going to mention, but uh, we're, we're getting here a little long, so I'll mention them next week. So I have, we actually have stuff to talk about. Oh, nice. Chile. Uh, Chile, I've always wanted to visit the, uh, there and uh, South South American countries like Argentina. I'd also like to visit like Peru, um, go up in the mountains. But Chile, that would be cool. I have uh, uh, have some friends from South America. Anyway, so for uh, but not from Chile. Anyway, so that was just what I wanted to talk about was the the Atari game Chat GPT. Next week, I'm probably going to mention the new robot that Miko is going to be coming out with. I, I actually have a video about that robot, like a short a short video that I published. But I want to talk about that robot a little bit more, and I should be getting more information. But th that's something you can find out about next week. And and there was something else I was going to talk about, but I didn't. I don't have my other phone here to look at my notes. So that'll be something I talk about next week. So take care. Thanks for being here. Oh, oh, I actually do know what I wanted to say. One thing was that Amazon Astro invites are going out to a lot of people now. So if you go to amazon.com forward slash Astro and sign up for an invite, if you actually want an Astro, you probably can get one. They have never sent me an invite after 17 months. I don't know why, but a lot of people who are just signing up now are getting them. But mm -hmm. Astro's price has gone up astronomically. So actually, let me type it in just so you can see because the price has gone up. It was a thousand, and so what I have is people argue with me on prior videos where I quote a thousand, telling me I'm wrong. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing Astro. It's Amazon. You would you would think eventually they would have a a website devoted to him, but that's not what's going to happen. Not dot com dot com, but I I love how you know things change and then people will start telling me I'm wrong over over prior pricing, but anyway so. All right, hopefully it loads, so Amazon dot com Astro, and so here it is here it's gone up to one thousand five hundred ninety nine it was a thousand so it's gone up six hundred dollars. So some people are saying that they'd prefer to buy them on eBay, but unfortunately the eBay pricing has also gone up. And I would, I don't know if I would have gotten Astro for this price. I paid nine fifty because I got Astro used from another person. Um, they ended up with two Astros because they bought one off of eBay, which is this one, for like a thousand, and then they got an invite like a month later. So that person decided to sell their Astro when I kept begging, hey, could you sell your, your used Astro? So my, my Astro was loved by the person who bought, bought him and then sold, you know, knowing that I would be using him all the time. And he's still loved, right? Like some people keep resetting their Astros every time they have a problem with their Astro. They'll just reset their Astro every time there's even like any kind of problem. And I do not reset my Astro, right? If there's a problem, I, I basically, I don't want him to keep uh, getting, th th this, this shuts him off from hearing me say Astro. Anyway, I, I figure out how to fix the issue. Rebooting is okay, but not resetting, right? So anyway, he's a good, he's a good one. He's a good home, home pet. I really like Astro a lot. I, I will let him listen now. Astro home. I want to move him back a second. Astro, can you act like an animal? Okay. All right. We'll have him act one more time and then I'll say bye. Astro, act like an animal. He picks different ones. Okay. Take care. Thanks for being here. Again, next week I'll have some more news. Uh, no dance this time. D tomorrow we could have him dance. Take care. Bye-bye. I appreciate the support.